Hey everybody, today is April 3rd and our readings and the saint of the day remind us that God provides. So let's look at the saint of the day and the readings that we are looking at. So first we have the saint who is Joseph the hymnographer. And unless you're a chanter, you might not have heard of him before, but he's really well known for composing a lot of the hymns that we use often in the Orthodox Church. And he lived in the 800s, and he was originally from Sicily, but he went from Sicily to Crete and to Constantinople. And the reading uh, about St. Joseph today says that he left Sicily because Sicily was being occupied by the Muslims. And then it says that he went from there, he went to Rome and was taken by uh, Muslim pirates to Crete and eventually went back to Constantinople where he was a hymnographer. Um, and then we have the reading that is from Isaiah. And at the very end, the last line is what I'd like us to focus on. It says, Israel is saved by the Lord with everlasting salvation. You shall not be put to shame or confounded to all eternity. And last, the reading from Genesis is the story of Abraham and his son Isaac and how God asked, I, asked Abraham to offer Isaac on the altar and to sacrifice him. But it shows that when Abraham goes to offer him um, and Isaac says, why are you, where's the animal that we're going to sacrifice and why are you putting this wood on my back? And God simply, or Abraham simply says that uh, you'll see that God's going to provide an animal uh, for me to sacrifice. And that's exactly what God does. As soon as he goes to sacrifice Isaac, uh, there's, a, there's an animal there for him to offer up instead. And at the end, it says that God is going to bless him because of his obedience. So there's two expressions that came to my mind when I was looking at our readings and the story from St. Joseph. And it's these two expressions in Greek that I hear a lot, uh, especially at the seminary. One is echiotheos, and the other is proto, or protaotheos. And what these mean literally is uh, God has it and God first. And when people say protothos, what they mean is God willing. So if someone says, is this going to happen? Are you going to do this? They say protothos, God, God willing, God first. And the other is echiotheos, which is, um, you know, it, it's, it's saying that God is going to provide. Um, that when I'm not sure how it's going to happen, but echiotheos, it's in God's hands. And that's what we see today from the reading of St. Joseph, um, that even though he struggled a lot in his life, he, was, he went from place to place, from his homeland in Sicily to Crete, to Rome, to Constantinople, and he was always being uh, persecuted by the uh, Muslim occupiers there in his land, but God provided for him. And we see that from Isaiah that um, God is, does not leave us put to shame or confounded to all eternity. And we see from Genesis that in Abraham's obedience to what God was asking of him, he didn't have to suffer to the end. Um, he obviously was struggling with what God was asking of him to do, but in the end, God provided. So uh, today on the 3rd of April and the who knows what number of days of uh, stay at home order that we've been given during COVID, we're being reminded that God provides, that um, it doesn't mean that we don't endure struggles like St. Joseph did, but it does mean that in the end, we're not gonna be confounded to the end and that God is going to provide because echiotheos and protaotheos. So I hope this is a, a good reminder for you today and I hope that you'll join me again tomorrow as we reflect on our daily readings. Amen.